Every time a person infected with COVID-19 coughs or sneezes, they spray out contagious droplets of the virus. And as News Specialist Jed Bow reports, University of Utah biomedical engineers are working to find out the role mucus plays in spreading COVID-19 from person to person. Right, Jed? Yeah, Dave, you probably never wanted to hear too much about mucus on the evening news, but the coronavirus has changed a lot of things. And mucus is right at the slimy center of understanding how the coronavirus is spread. Mucus is absolutely essential for life, um, from jellyfish to humans. Dr. Jessica Kramer has been studying mucus in her lab for years. Now, the University of Utah biomedical engineering professor is focused on mucus and the spread of COVID-19, which binds directly to mucus. What we want to understand in this project is how different forms of mucus relate to coronavirus transmission and infection. Mucus hydrates and lubricates our bodies and acts as a natural defense. When bacteria, viruses, or allergies irritate our tissues, our bodies produce extra mucus to flush those irritants. Well, every time an infected person coughs or sneezes, they um, spray out mucus droplets. We each produce different forms of mucus. Kramer's research team will try to find out how well the virus lives in those forms. That information can tell us who needs to quarantine um, for longer periods. Um, it could tell us who's more susceptible um, to infection. And eventually we hope to make drugs that could block uh, the virus from binding to mucus in the first place. About 80% of new COVID-19 infections are attributed to 20% of the people. Not everybody spreads the virus equally. They don't understand why, and it's not just poor hygiene. And we think that these forms of mucus may better carry the virus through the air um, or allow the virus to survive when it lands on a hard surface. If they can identify the forms of mucus that bind to the virus, that could lead to drugs that block the bond. My researchers and I are really happy we can contribute to this problem. And mucus is just at the center of um, the whole virus transmission. Right now, her eight-person team is quarantined for two weeks, and everything in the lab is being thoroughly disinfected. I feel very optimistic. Um, my lab and many, many other labs are attacking this problem from every possible angle. Now, Dr. Kramer received a $200,000 grant from the National Science Foundation to do this research. It's a one-year project, but she expects to have some initial results in the next few months. So we'll check back with her at that time. Guys? We'll be eager to hear that. Jed Bow live for us tonight. Thank you, Jed.